Thanks, Brendan. This morning in Going Places, we're headed to the Cape. The long holiday weekend kicks off for many today, and there's a lot of anticipation for travel, especially local travel. Let's check in now with Ashley Erling. She is live at a beautiful resort over on the Cape Oceanfront. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, MJ. Yeah, we headed off the road, if you will, today because Memorial Day weekend is the unofficial start of summer and lots of people are starting to think about their summer plans. You might not want to hop on a plane right now because you can hop in your car and come on out to the Cape. We're at the Pelham House Resort. I'm with managing partner John McCarthy. Thanks so much for having us here. Thank you, Ashley. We're so excited to have you. This is such a beautiful property. We picked one of the most uh, recognized spots to start off this morning here in the fire pit, in the middle of your pool, on the ocean front. Yeah. Now we're talking to Rhode Islanders. They may not be familiar with your property. Tell us about Pelham House Resort, where you're located, and what you're all about. Yeah, we're in Dennisport, uh, so that's mid Cape. We're sitting here in the pool area of the existing hotel that's been here since 1963. My dad bought this property in 1997 when it was just a hotel without a restaurant and wedding venue. Um, and so for about 20, three years ago, we did a renovation. Uh, I picked up some partners that helped me through this. And now we've done the whole hotel and we've added a brand new rooftop restaurant with a wedding venue. So we do huge weddings. We're excited because we're going to check out all aspects of the property throughout the morning. But as you mentioned, people may be familiar with this property from growing up and coming here. You guys recently did a full reno and I can say it is absolutely stunningly beautiful. Tell us a little bit more about the property and what you've done. And you have more properties now as well because you're that good. It's amazing. So we have 33 rooms here. Every one of them have a view. Every one of them have a private balcony. We have this brand new pool area with fire pit and then fire pits outside. We have our 400 feet of private beach. And then you go to our brand new 14 C Street building. It's a rooftop restaurant where they're dining every night, including a brunch on the weekends. Um, during the summer, brunch is all day long. Stairs on the patio where we have four fire pits going to be called Waves, raw bar, sushi, uh, flatbread pizzas. It's going to be incredible. So we're an experience driven place. Every night pool parties and our two new properties. One is Pelham on Main, one is Pelham on Earl. They have 27 rooms. You can we redid all the rooms, 87 total rooms at the Pelham now between five miles from here. It's incredible. And one between families, couples who want a romantic getaway, maybe just someone who wants to get out of their own house. It's been a couple of years of a lot of time. Because you have your own beach and all of this own property, you shouldn't worry about the crowds of the Cape or things like that. Yeah, you definitely, it, this is private. Surprise drive down the road and they see this big restaurant and like wedding venue and then see the hotel airs like to themselves we have it's not surprising to see somebody celebrating an anniversary or have a bachelorette party or a ladies brunch or having a big wedding so do it all and the welcome back as we've been saying all morning today kicks off memorial day weekend considered the unofficial start to summer yes it does and a lot of folks want to get out and enjoy the most beautiful time of the year in new england we are going to check back in with ashley who has made her way to cape cod for the long weekend good morning ashley not a bad place to be it is not a bad place to be. You're right about that, Will. I'm thrilled to be here. We're at Pelham House Resort, and we've moved into the dining area where, of course, we have to talk about the food. Chef Dan is joining me this morning. The food here is second to none. Thank you so much for having us today. Thank you for having me. And we, oh, the food is so good that they are literally making it for us fresh right now. And that's the experience you're going to get when you come to Pelham House. This is a really exciting menu. I've now eaten here several times. The food is delicious. Tell me how you came up with your menu item. Honestly, it's, it's food that I want to eat at home. Um, I have an amazing team of chefs who um, help me build the menus. And it's, we get to try anything and, and edit as we go. And it's just really interesting flavors and and amazing pastry team and um, it's great and you guys do brunch you do dinner you're open seven days a week we have some brunch items in front of us today so let's talk a little bit about your brunch menu and some of the items we have on the table here yep so um, it, it's a take on some classics we have our liege waffle um, it's a little bit untraditional like your Belgian waffle um, 
Bananas Foster style, we have a um, lobster quiche, um, our traditional Benedict right here, which is mainly made, all of our beef comes from Featherbrook Farms in Ranham, Mass, so local farm. It's just using the best ingredients that I can get my hands on and, um, and very simply prepared. The lobster quiche has me drooling. I'm not gonna lie to you. As soon as they brought it out, I was like, that's what I would get, absolutely. And you have a wonderful pastry chef as well, correct? Correct, yep, all pastries are made in-house. And then let's talk about the dinner menu a little bit. I was here, I was fortunate enough to be here last night for dinner, which I enjoyed very much, thank you. I really liked how there was a very interesting Flavor, flavor profile going on. A lot of the dishes, you'll get seafood because of course we're on the ocean, but it was different. It wasn't kind of just like your classic seafood. It had a lot of interesting flavors. Sure. I have a lot of international uh, students and workers, so a lot of their flavor profiles from their country make it onto our menus. Um, really have fun fun time doing that and, and um, bringing different components that you wouldn't normally see at a restaurant like this. And a little birdie told me you have actually even a new component of your restaurant service here that's going to be opening soon. You're going to be doing sushi, things like that. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so that opens um, in about a week and a half. It's going to be on our patio downstairs, um, hand-rolled sushi to order, raw bar. We're going to bring back tin fish, which is becoming really popular, um, and flatbread pieces. Tell me more about tinfish. I'm not familiar. So amazing. Um, it could be sea urchin, scallops, mussels. It's all prepared in, um, well, this particular tinfish is prepared in Spain. Um, it's some of the best seafood components and different marinades and whatnot. We're going to serve it like a sea couterie. So. Oh, my God, sea couterie. Somebody coined that. Chef Dan just came up with I'm giving you credit. I don't know if you came up with it. I'm going to credit Chef Dan with that one. You have to try the food here. It's absolutely phenomenal on the ocean front. It really doesn't get better than that. But there is even more this morning. We're going to tell you more about the fun programs they have going on here throughout the summer. So make sure to stick around for that. Welcome back, everybody. Well, this morning we have been chatting all morning, Will. That's right, about the long weekend, which is kicking off today. As we're getting ready to enjoy the summer season, ultra editing, okay. right here in New England. <laughs> now, it did look a little gray this morning, but it looks like the uh, the sun is uh, coming out right now. Uh, we're going to check in once again with Ashley, who's out on the Cape right now. And I think a little, uh, I think a little yoga was going to take place before. <laughs> Yeah, guys, what is going on back there? I feel like we're all in like a dress rehearsal or something today. Yeah, the sun is coming out here. We are on the Cape at Pelham House Resort, and it really is a resort. There is so much to do here besides just to stay at a beautiful hotel. There is yoga going on behind us, and Nicole from Team Pelham is here to tell us more about their programming. Good morning, Nicole. Hi, Ashley. Glad to have you back. I'm so happy to be here. Now, we have a class literally going on behind us right now, and this is something that guests can um, take part in throughout the season. Tell us more about your programming. Definitely. So John had mentioned earlier that we are growing, and with that growth, we want to keep uh, offering new experiences for both Pelham guests and locals. So this summer is that first official season as Pelham Hospitality, so we want to offer some Outside yoga, what a spectacular way to start the morning. Um, so no matter what hotel you're staying at, you can hop on the shuttle and come here and start your morning off with some yoga with Nove. Um, and if you spend a little too much time at the pool the night before, you can go in class and get a um, Pelham discount for that. So they're right down the street. You can either take it here or head down the street, but, um, but yeah. So. Oh, I love that. So you're working with partners within the community, and this is something great that people can do while they're staying here. And I know you guys have so much going on. This is going to be a huge summer for you. Tell us about what else you have going on at Pelham this summer. Yes, so another thing that we've uh, had a lot of fun with the past few summers is our pool parties. So we would have live music out by the pool, and it might just sound like live music by the pool, but actually it was it completely took off. So this summer we decided to take it to the next level, and we'll be partnering up with some brands. And uh, each week we'll have a different spin on it, have live music, things to do for kids, lawn games. So it will be a really fun summer. Yeah, I noticed you guys have some lawn games out here. So, you know, for people who maybe want to just come to the restaurant, or is it open to the public for people to come here and hang out, or is it more just for guests? How does it work? It sure is. So the Pelham Pool is where we'll have the music, and it's open to the public, but uh, we are kind of focusing on it being an experience for Pelham guests. But over here, John had mentioned that we're opening our new sushi restaurant with these fire pits and um, a raw bar. And then upstairs, we have brunch and dinner out on the rooftop. So there's a lot of options, and we're just trying to expand. And I have to tell you guys, it is absolutely beautiful out here to sit here with, you know, either a cocktail or maybe some sushi and just take in the ocean. I mean, we are right on the ocean front. You really cannot beat this location. 
you really can. And, and that's what's kind of cool about uh, these other properties is we can kind of replicate the room types and we can replicate the experience, the service, but it's hard to find this view anywhere else. So we try to keep the amenities here and keep everyone coming. And I know one of the things that's really important to the Pelham team are the staff here. You guys really make things special. I know you're like a family, as John had mentioned earlier. It's a fun vibe. It's an approachable vibe. So while we're in an amazing place, people, people should feel comfortable and at home. Definitely. And I think you can feel that as a guest as well. It definitely translates from the top to bottom. Um, and it's, it's just a fun place to be. All right, John, I'm going to call you in. They have a tagline here. Let's go. So on one, two, three, John, let's give them a let's go. Right. One, two, three. Let's go. Back to you guys.